So I am uh, just walking home. Just felt like going out and experiencing nature. By nature, I mean uh, sidewalks and lots of grass. <laughs> and while I was walking, uh, there, was a, there was a certain point that like, I had no idea where I was going. I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna walk. And I just kept walking and I was followed sidewalks and I was like, where am I going? And I, I just kept walking and there was a bridge and I was just like, oh, there's a bridge. I'll, I'll walk across the bridge. And I kept going that way and then I came to a point, I saw some cool geese, some little, some little duckies, little geese and duckies, and they were, they were just so adorable. Little, little geeses, little duckies all over there. And so I was walking past them and, and I just kept walking and next thing I knew I'd been like, I was like three miles away from my apartment. So I checked my GPS. It's called being a millennial. We have GPSs, we don't know how to use maps. <laughs> As I was uh, walking, I was thinking, man, how many of us in life kind of do that same thing? How many of us are just walking and we're going in a specific direction in our life? Maybe it's decisions that you're making. Maybe you're just, you're just going out and partying and you just don't even know why anymore. But you're just going out and you're you're sleeping with who knows who and you just don't know why anymore and you're just going in this direction and you keep on moving and you keep on going and there just comes a point where you just ask yourself where in the world am i going where in the world am i going what direction am i heading maybe you have you're at a place where you're in the mid middle of it all and you haven't even thought about it and you're you haven't come to the place where you've been asked yourself where am i going but there has to be a point where you have to pick a direction. There had to be a point where I said, you know what, I'm gonna go this direction. For me, there had to be a point where I said, all right, it's time to go home. My encouragement to you is that if you're at this place where maybe you're just lost, maybe you, you're just you're doing who knows what, you don't even know what direction you're going in anymore, you've just been walking, you've been walking, and you're just letting other people tell you what direction you're going, you haven't thought to yourself, what direction do I want to go in? Where do I want to be in life? And I think just the way that you get there is kind of like what I had to do. I had to stop. You gotta look at your life. You just, I encourage you just to sit down. Just sit there in silence and just think about where you are and if that's where you want to be anymore. And after that, you gotta turn around. You gotta look at all the areas around you Look at all the different directions you can go in. Maybe it's a new job, new friends. Maybe it's listening to your mom or your parents and they're telling you they don't, they don't think the people that you're hanging out with are good for you. They think that you're taking you in a bad direction. Maybe it's turning around like I had to turn around at some point and say, you know what, maybe they're right. Maybe the people I'm hanging out with aren't good for me. Maybe I need to start changing who my friends are. But like anything in life, whatever you decide to do, whatever direction you may be going in, at some point you need to start walking. At some point you need to say, I'm gonna go in this direction and you gotta start walking. Wait, you gotta make that first step. Maybe you gotta quit that job. Maybe you gotta take a new job. Maybe you've been, uh, you gotta leave those friends. You gotta text them right now and you gotta say, look, I know we've been having fun together. It's been great, but I gotta, I'm heading in a di different direction in my life and I need to, make some new friend choices. Maybe for the first time you step into a church. Maybe for the first time you consider something new. Maybe some, or maybe you have to go back and look at something old and say, maybe I should revisit that. Whatever it is that you do, you gotta start walking at some point. If that's you, know that I'm praying for you. So whatever that decision is that you need to make, whatever that step that you need to take is, do it. Stop looking back. Stop, stop second guessing yourself. Make that decision, take that step, start moving. And at some point, you're gonna feel like it's, you're too far gone. And if that's you, you're never too far gone. You can always start walking in the other direction. So whatever that decision is, make it, make that decision, do it. You can do it. I know sometimes it may be hard, but the best decisions in life are often hardest for us up to uh, step into Target. So, cause I got, my dad sent me a, a, a Apple watch. He was getting a new one, he sent me his old one. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool. So but one thing he didn't send me was a, was a charger. So I gotta go to Target, get a charger. So you're gonna join me on this adventure. 
I like this for an Apple Watch. It's like it's nice, it's slick. There's uh, there's some other ones. That one's pretty nice. But I have a lot of black bands. I don't have a lot of brown. Match with some some shoes. I like this. I'm gonna keep it. Put in the comments below if you thought it was a good suggestion. Mm, they got Avengers, movies, more Avengers. Hey, if you haven't seen it already, I actually put it in a, a re movie review for Avengers. I think it's pretty good, but I'm kind of biased. My curse of Target is upon me. Look at these clothes. I want them all. This is what Target does to you people. They, they draw you in. This. Leave it to Target. I go in looking for one thing. I'm going in and I was looking in. I was looking for a charger for my Apple Watch. That was it. And I ended up buying all this. Target. There's seductive ways seducing my wallet. You know, there. Um, one of my friends in high school, uh, we went to church together. And it's, it's funny because he was, he was like the party kid of the town. Like he was the Barney Simpson of my town. It was, it was crazy. This guy was hilarious. Everyone knew him. And one day there, there came a point where his life turned around and he, and he changed his life decisions and he no longer partied. He no longer went out, got drunk crazy. He, he turned everything around and that's because at some point he was going in a specific direction and he stopped and he said he looked at the direction his life was going and he said I don't want to be there anymore I don't know why I'm doing these things and so there was a point where he stopped and he turned around and he started walking the other way and that's what you need to do if there's a thing in your life you need to get rid of you don't, maybe you don't know what direction you're heading in. Maybe you've just been walking and walking and walking and it's making you miserable every single day because you don't know what purpose your life has. There just needs to be a point where you stop and you turn around and you start walking the other direction because you say, you know what? It's not good for me. This isn't where I'm supposed to be in life. This isn't where I want to be in life. So I'm going to start taking the necessary steps towards the direction in my life where I want to be. So whatever it is in your life, maybe for you, that first step to turn around and go in the right direction maybe that first step is sharing this video maybe it's just honestly sharing this video sharing this video with someone and saying hey look I got some stuff going on but the, you know this video this kind of helped open my eyes I'm gonna start heading in the right direction maybe that's the, what you need to do maybe it's not sharing this video I mean, really what's most important is that you're getting some life change what's most important is that you are heading in the right direction that you are heading in the correct direction the direction that you need to head in the direction that you know is best for your life the direction that you know is wisest for your life I can give you advice I can tell you that the right direction is Jesus all day long you don't have to believe me that's what I think. I think the right direction is Jesus because he saves me. Because he, he gives me abundant life. He gives me joy. He gives me peace. But you know, maybe you don't believe in God. And I'm not gonna hear, I'm not here to argue with you. What I want you to do is make the wisest decision. What's the right direction for you to head in? Well, I hope something in this video was encouraging to you. And, my, and I just really hope that wherever you are in life right now, especially if you're just wandering and you just know you're not going in a good direction that's wise for you, that you would do it as I did and as my friend did. You stop, turn around, find the direction that you want to go in, and you start walking. So have a great day, guys, and see you next time. <laughs>